Hey there, health enthusiasts. Are you ready for a shocking revelation that could change the way you think about omega-3 supplements forever? If you're taking omega-3s or considering adding them to your daily routine, you need to watch this video before you take another dose. Trust me, you won't believe what we've uncovered. For years, we've been told that omega-3 fatty acids are essential for heart health, brain function, and reducing inflammation. You've probably seen countless articles and videos touting the benefits of these miracle fats, and maybe you've even started taking supplements yourself. But what if I told you that there's a dark side to omega-3s that no one is talking about? That's right. Recent studies have revealed a scary association between high-dose omega-3 supplements and a serious heart condition called atrial fibrillation. And the risk isn't just a small increase. It's a whopping 37% higher in people who take these supplements compared to those who don't. Now, I know what you're thinking. How could something that's supposed to be so good for us actually be putting our hearts at risk? And why hasn't this information been more widely publicized? Well, that's exactly what we're going to dive into in this video. But before we get into the nitty gritty details, let me ask you a question. Have you ever experienced symptoms like palpitations, shortness of breath, or fatigue? If so, you could be one of the millions of people affected by atrial fibrillation without even knowing it. And if you're taking high-dose omega-3 supplements, you could be putting yourself at even greater risk. So what exactly is atrial fibrillation, and how does it relate to omega-3s? Well, buckle up because we're about to take a deep dive into the science behind this shocking connection. Atrial fibrillation is a type of irregular heartbeat that occurs when the upper chambers of the heart, called the atria, beat chaotically and out of sync with the lower chambers, called the ventricles. This can cause a wide range of symptoms and lead to serious complications like stroke and heart failure. And here's where omega-3s come in. A recent study published in the European Heart Journal followed over 25,000 people for an average of seven years and found that those who took high doses of omega-3 supplements had a significantly higher risk of developing atrial fibrillation compared to those who didn't take supplements at all. Now before you go throwing out all your fish oil capsules, let's take a closer look at the study. The researchers found that the increased risk of atrial fibrillation was only seen in those who took more than one gram of omega-3s per day. That's a pretty high dose, and it's not something that most people would get from diet alone. So, what does this mean for you? Well, the key takeaway here is that moderation is key when it comes to omega-3 supplements. It's crucial to stick to the recommended dosage on the label and not exceed it. Taking too much can actually do more harm than good, as we've seen with the increased risk of atrial fibrillation. But don't let this news scare you away from omega-3s altogether. There are still plenty of ways to get the benefits of these healthy fats without putting your heart at risk. One of the best ways is to eat fatty fish like salmon, sardines, and mackerel a few times a week. These fish are naturally high in omega-3s, and they also contain other important nutrients like vitamin D and selenium. If you're not a fan of fish, you can also get omega-3s from plant-based sources like flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. These foods contain a type of omega-3 called alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, which your body can convert into the more active forms of omega-3 called EPA and DHA. While the conversion process isn't as efficient as getting EPA and DHA directly from fish, it's still a good way to boost your intake. Another important thing to keep in mind is that not all omega-3 supplements are created equal. Some supplements may contain contaminants like mercury or PCBs, which can be harmful to your health. That's why it's important to choose a high-quality supplement from a reputable brand and to look for products that have been third-party tested for purity and potency. Now, if you are taking omega-3 supplements and have concerns about the dosage or potential side effects, it's always a good idea to have a conversation with your healthcare provider. They can help you determine the right dosage for your individual needs and monitor you for any adverse effects. So, what's the bottom line? 
While the association between high-dose omega-3 supplements and atrial fibrillation is certainly concerning, it doesn't mean that you need to avoid omega-3s altogether. By getting your omega-3s from natural sources like fatty fish and plant-based foods, and by sticking to the recommended dosage for supplements, you can still reap the many health benefits of these important fats without putting your heart at risk. And remember, omega-3s are just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to heart health. Other important factors include eating a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, managing stress, and not smoking. By taking a holistic approach to your health, you can reduce your risk of atrial fibrillation and other heart problems and live your best, healthiest life. So there you have it, folks. The scary truth about omega-3 supplements and atrial fibrillation revealed. We hope this video has opened your eyes to the potential risks of high-dose omega-3s and given you some practical tips for getting the benefits of these important fats without putting your heart on the line. If you found this video informative and eye-opening, be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends and family. You never know who might need to hear this life-changing information. And if you want more evidence-based health and wellness advice, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. We want to hear from you. Have you experienced any side effects from taking omega-3 supplements? Do you have any tips for getting omega-3s from natural sources? Leave us a comment below and let's start a conversation. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay healthy, stay informed, and stay curious.